Welcome to Holistic Wellness 24-7. Today's video explores Stoicism and its relevance to Gen Z and beyond. So whether you are looking to cleanse, revitalize or elevate your overall wellness, you've come to the right place. Are you tired of feeling overwhelmed in a world that's always on? Like seriously, put the phone down for a minute and join me here. What if I told you that a 2000 year old philosophy could be the key to thriving in today's chaotic landscape? No, I'm not kidding. And it's not about wearing togas or renouncing all your possessions. Today we're exploring stoicism, the unstoppable force Gen Z needs to find clarity, strength and purpose in the modern world. Stick around because this is going to be good. All right, let's dive into this whole stoicism thing. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Ancient philosophy, isn't that like for old dudes and statues? But trust me on this one. Stoicism is way more than just some dusty old wisdom. It's a practical toolkit for resilience, focus, and yes, even inner peace. Think of it like this. Life throws curveballs, right? Bad grades, relationship drama, you name it. Stoicism teaches us to focus on what we can control, our thoughts, our reactions, and let go of what we can't. It's about building this inner strength, this unshakable core that helps us weather any storm. And that's something we can all use a little more of. Am I right? It's like having this mental shield against the anxieties and pressures of everyday life. Because let's face it, being a teenager, a young adult, it's tough out there. Eh? You're constantly bombarded with expectations, social media comparisons, and this pressure to always be on. But stoicism? It's like hitting the pause button for a second, taking a deep breath and saying, OK, what can I actually control here? And you'd be surprised how much power there is in that simple shift in perspective. Because when you realize that you have the power to choose your response, to choose how you react to the world around you, that's when you unlock a whole new level of freedom. It's about finding that inner calm amidst the chaos. And that's a superpower worth having, my friends. So buckle up because we're about to embark on a journey into the heart of stoicism. And trust me, it's going to be a wild ride. Okay, before we go any further, we need to clear up some common misconceptions about stoicism. Because let's be real, there are a lot of myths and stereotypes floating around out there. First up, stoicism is not about suppressing your emotions. You know, walking around like a robot, never cracking a smile or shedding a tear. Yeah, that's not it at all. Stoicism is about understanding and regulating your emotions. It's about learning to experience those feelings fully, without letting them control you. Think of it like this. You wouldn't let your emotions drive your car, would you? You wouldn't let anger take the wheel and steer you into a ditch. The same goes for life. Stoicism gives you the tools to be the driver, to navigate your emotions with awareness and make thoughtful choices, even when things get rough. Another myth. Stoicism is not about being perfect. Listen, none of us are perfect. We all mess up, we all make mistakes, and that's okay. Stoicism isn't about striving for some unattainable ideal of flawlessness. It's about making progress, even if it's just a little bit every day. It's about getting back up when you fall down, learning from your mistakes and never giving up on yourself. It's about embracing the journey, imperfections and all. So if you're out there thinking, Stoicism is too hard or I could never live up to that, let me tell you right now, you absolutely can. Stoicism is for everyone. It's for the dreamers, the doers, the ones who are still figuring things out. It's for anyone who wants to live a more meaningful, fulfilling life, and that includes you. So, why is Stoicism such a perfect fit for Gen Z? Well, for starters, it offers practical tools for navigating the unique challenges you face in today's world. Think about it. You're growing up in a time of unprecedented technological advancement, social change, and global uncertainty. It's a lot to handle, but Stoicism can help. One of its core principles is focusing on what's within your control. You can't control the algorithm, but you can control how much time you spend scrolling. You can't control what others post online, but you can control how much validation you seek from social media. See where I'm going with this? Stoicism also teaches you to reframe challenges as opportunities for growth. That bad grade? It's a chance to learn from your mistakes and improve your study habits. That fight with your friend? It's an opportunity to practice communication and empathy. And speaking of empathy, stoicism can help you develop greater self-awareness and emotional mastery. Now, I know Gen Z often gets labeled as too sensitive or too emotional. But here's the thing, there's nothing wrong with feeling your feelings. In fact, it's a sign of strength and self-awareness. Stoicism isn't about denying your emotions. It's about choosing how you respond to them. 
It's about finding that balance between feeling deeply and acting thoughtfully. Let me give you an example. I know this awesome young woman named Sarah who started using stoic journaling to deal with her anxiety. Every day she'd write down her thoughts and feelings and then she'd ask herself, what can I control in this situation and what's outside my control? This simple practice helped her identify her triggers, challenge negative thought patterns and develop healthier coping mechanisms. She learned to focus on her own actions and reactions rather than getting caught up in things she couldn't change. And guess what? It worked. Sarah's not alone. There are countless other young people out there who are using stoicism to navigate the challenges of modern life and come out stronger on the other side. Chapter 4. Level up your life stoic practices you can use today. All right, by now you're probably wondering, how do I actually apply Stoicism to my life? Well, I'm glad you asked, because Stoicism isn't just some abstract philosophy. It's about taking action. So let's talk about some practical Stoic practices that you can start using today to transform your life. First up, negative visualization. Now, before you click away, hear me out. Negative visualization isn't about being pessimistic. It's about mentally preparing yourself for challenges. It's like running a fire drill in your mind. Here's how it works. Imagine a potential obstacle or setback. For example, let's say you have a big presentation coming up and you're terrified of messing up. Visualize yourself forgetting your lines, stumbling over your words, the whole nine yards. Now, instead of panicking, ask yourself, what can I do to prevent this from happening? And if it does happen, how can I handle it in a calm and productive way? By mentally rehearsing for potential challenges, you build resilience and reduce anxiety. You're essentially giving yourself a mental vaccine against stress. Next up, practicing virtue. The Stoics believed that living a virtuous life was the key to happiness and fulfillment. They identified four core virtues, courage, self-control, wisdom, and justice. Now, these virtues might sound a bit lofty, but they're actually quite practical. Courage isn't just about facing down dragons. It's about speaking your truth, even when it's uncomfortable. Self-control isn't just about resisting that extra slice of cake. It's about managing your impulses and making choices that align with your values. And then there's journaling and reflection. This is a big one. The Stoics were all about self-reflection. They believed that by examining our thoughts and actions, we could gain greater self-awareness and make better choices in the future. Think of your journal as a personal growth laboratory. It's a safe space to process your emotions, challenge negative thought patterns, and track your progress over time. Now, I know what you're thinking. This all sounds great in theory, but does Stoicism actually work in the real world? Well, let me introduce you to James Stockdale. Stockdale was a Navy pilot who was shot down and held as a prisoner of war in Vietnam for seven and a half years. During that time, he endured torture, isolation, an unimaginable hardship. But Stockdale never gave up hope. He drew strength from Stoic philosophy, focusing on what he could control, his thoughts, his attitude, his inner world. He knew he couldn't control the actions of his captors, but he could control how he responded to them. Stockdale's story is a testament to the power of Stoicism to help us overcome even the most difficult challenges. But Stoicism isn't just for war heroes and prisoners of war. It's for everyday people like you and me. In fact, Stoicism is becoming increasingly relevant in today's hustle culture. Gen Z is bombarded with messages about productivity, achievement and the pursuit of success. But Stoicism offers a different perspective. It reminds us that true success isn't about external validation or material possessions. It's about living a life of virtue, purpose and meaning. It's about finding joy in the journey, not just the destination. And there are some amazing Gen Z role models out there who are embracing stoicism and showing the world what it means to live a life of authenticity, integrity and purpose. So we've talked about what stoicism is, why it's relevant for Gen Z and how it can help you navigate the challenges of modern life. Now it's time for you to put it into practice. Here's your challenge. This week, I want you to choose one stoic principle and try it out in your own life. Maybe you want to start by practicing negative visualization. Identify a potential stressor in your life and spend a few minutes each day visualizing yourself handling it with grace and resilience. Or maybe you want to focus on practicing virtue. Choose one of the four stoic virtues, courage, self-control, wisdom or justice, and look for opportunities to embody that virtue in your daily life. 
No matter what you choose, I encourage you to approach this challenge with an open mind and a willingness to experiment. Stoicism isn't about being perfect. It's about progress, not perfection. And remember, you don't have to do this alone. Share your experiences in the comments below. I'd love to hear how Stoicism is resonating with you and what challenges you're facing. Because at the end of the day, Stoicism is about more than just ancient philosophy. It's about building a community of like-minded individuals who are committed to living more meaningful, fulfilling lives. As we wrap up our exploration of Stoicism, I want to leave you with this thought. Gen Z has the potential to be the most resilient, adaptable and purpose-driven generation yet. You're growing up in a world that's constantly changing, a world that demands flexibility, creativity and a willingness to embrace the unknown. And guess what? Those are all qualities that Stoicism can help you cultivate. Stoicism isn't just a philosophy, it's a way of life. It's a set of tools and practices that can help you navigate the ups and downs of life with greater clarity, strength and purpose. It's about finding inner peace amidst the chaos and living a life that's true to yourself. So if you're ready to step into your power to embrace the challenges and opportunities of the 21st century with courage, wisdom and resilience, then Stoicism might just be the philosophy for you. And hey, if you're ready to explore more about personal growth, resilience and all things Stoicism, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and be sure to check out my next video where we'll be diving deep into creating a Stoic-inspired morning routine. Because together we can redefine what it means to be strong, resilient and unstoppable in the face of whatever life throws our way. So I really hope this video gave you some things to think about, maybe even a new perspective on how to deal with, like the inevitable dumpster fire that is existence. Stoicism is pretty amazing when you think about it. It's not about being emotionless or passive. It's about channeling your energy, your emotions, into what you can control. It's about making choices that align with your values even when things get tough. And that's something I think we can all aspire to, right? So DFTBA, don't forget to be awesome, and I'll see you in the next video.